What's up guys, this is Teddy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video, we're going to be talking about many-to-many -many relationships in ASP.NET Web API. And go ahead and take out your UML diagram here. And the way that you can kind of conceptualize many-to-many um, -many tables is many-to-many -many tables are when you have a relationship between two things a good example is a student's, if you were to make some kind of learning CMS or some type of student CMS that keeps track of students and grades and courses, a good way and the most common way to kind of visualize it is to understand the relationships between students and courses. So students can belong to many courses and courses can have many different variations of students. In our Pokemon API, Owners can have many Pokemon, and Pokemon can have many owners, and they can uh, they can exist, like I said, in many different variations. Like a Pokemon can have, like one Pokemon can have different owners because, uh, like in the it, and because in the game, if you think about it too, one person can't own like all the Squirtles, or one Squirtle cannot. You know, a Squirtle can have many owners. I'm getting like really carried away here. Uh, a squir you know, squirtles can, there's different squirtles and squirtles can belong to different owners and they can exist in many different variations. And that's like the perfect relationship for a many to many, um, you know, example. I hope that didn't confuse you. Uh, if it did, like I said, just continue working through it. And a lot of this stuff just makes sense as you kind of, you know, actually do it. It's, very like I said, it's very abstract but once we kind of dig into it you'll probably understand it a little bit better anyway i'm getting carried away here so the way that you can spot a many-to-many -many relationship in a uml is when you have two tables within a many so this one this is a perfect example right here pokemon owners pokemon categories pokemon owners pokemon categories and in theory I've seen this on Stack Overflow is that you could represent these relationships in uh, having them in just one table, but with many to many relationships, you usually always have a join. And you uh, sometimes you have to create these, and sometimes as of as of late, the ASP.NET Core will actually create your join tables for you. And join tables are literally extra tables that are separate from your actual entities that are going to hold all these complicated relationships. Because if you had, if you stored these complicated relationships in the actual Pokemon table, it would become overwhelming and you would have so many duplicates that it really wouldn't even make sense. Hence why we actually make join tables to, you know, join these relationships together. And typically within a join table, you're going to have the ID of the poke, or you're going to have the ID of the table. So the, like I said, the relationship's going to have a uh, primary key attached to it. And you're also going to have the actual Pokemon attached to it or the Pokemon entity attached to it as well. And then you will have the owner uh, primary key attached to it. And then you'll have the owner um, entity attached to it. And that's what's going to allow you to be able to kind of number one, store these really redundant relationships and be able to kind of just grab them at, you know, your, ple your pleasing and be able to manipulate this data easier. So uh, enough, like I said, I always say enough with the chit chat. Let's actually go ahead and let's go and f uh, actually create our many to many relationships. So we're going to have to actually go in here and create the actual join tables so go in here, create a joint. Uh, we'll go ahead and just create these join tables. So our first join table is going to be Pokemon category. And once again, just like in the other, uh, just like in the UML diagram, we're going to have the Pokemon ID. Then we're going to have the category. ID and 
Entity Framework is going to take care of a lot of the abstraction. And there's even the uh, many to many relationship has become so easy nowadays that you can literally just put in, uh, you could just put in these relationships into another table, or you could have two minis in the in uh, different tables, and it will actually do the join table for you, and it will do the uh, actual many to many relationship, but. Um, it's probably not good to do that because that's that's a lot of magic and a lot of magic in programming is not good. And if you really want to kind of understand the relationship, you probably want to do it in a less abstracted way that we're doing right now. But if you don't even want to fool with it and you maybe you already know a lot about join tables, you can Google it and it will show you exactly how to do a many to many relationship without having to code all this stuff up right here. But Sometimes, like I said, I think it's it's best in order to, you know, stay away from magic and certain cases magic is good. But I think in our case that, you know, abstracting away all of the, you know, complicatedness from it is probably not good for learning purposes. So we're going to have the owner, Pokemon owner. So Pokemon ID. So prop. And then we have int and then owner id then we're going to have prop we're going to have the pokemon actual entity and then pokemon so if you ever another thing is is that if you're ever confused about like what's actually going on this is just kind of like a side trick you can just go to go right click this if you don't if you're just if so if you're ever going through a tutorial and you don't know like what this is, you can click on this and go to the definition. So, and I do this all the time with entities that like I even know. So a lot of times I'm just going through here. I'm like, I forgot like what is in the Pokemon entity. Like I, you just right click, you can go to definition and you can immediately go to your Pokemon uh, entity. And then you can click up here to the left and you can immediately go back. And you, you can also use this forward button to kind of zoom in and out of them. So a little productivity hack there that will that will go a long way um especially when you start working so we'll go in here then we're going to create our owner again and these are once again these are our joint tables okay so we've got our join tables figured out but we're not done yet we also need to go through and do our minis for our join tables that we've actually created so the first one with the most uh, many to many relationships is going to be the Pokemon right here. And we have also have one for the owner. We also have one for the categories and we'll just go into the Pokemon and actually create um, th these many to many relationships and not complicated at all. It's actually pretty simple, a little bit more complicated. Like I said, it's not that complicated. It requires a little bit more finagling. I don't know if that's really the probably the best word finagling for what you're doing but um yeah you you just got to put a little bit more work into these many to many relationships but it does pay off and uh many to many relationships are super important so kind of sucks at first but you what you learn is you know is going to pay off in the future so just kind of think about it like that it's going it'll everything's going to pay off it's just going to take a little bit of time Programming's like that. It's a, you know you got to put in a lot of upfront work, and programming's kind of scary, you know, because you don't know. Especially if you're a self-taught developer. I was a self-taught developer, and I always was so. I used to stay up all night wondering if like all this work that I was putting in is gonna even make a difference. But it makes a difference. It just you know it might take a couple years in order to you know see the results. But just you know hang in there. It all starts making sense eventually if you just. You know fight through it so pokemon then we're gonna go pokemon owner because we want to have this uh owner we want to have this many to many relationship within the owner and pokemon owners all right what else do we need so we did the owner now we need to do the pokemon categories so pokemon categories we don't want vs code 
Let me just double check. So Pokemon categories, Pokemon categories. <laughs> All right. Okay, so go down here. Then we're going to drop, drop a collection Pokemon category, Pokemon categories. Great. And that is, let me just go ahead and go through here. It's always, it's always really good to kind of double check it. I'm just going to go over to the, I'm going to pull this over into my other screen and I'm going to double check it just to make sure that we've got everything that we need. So category, we got Pokemon categories, our country. Um, we didn't have any many to many for our country. We had a many to many in our owner class. So we have Pokemon owners. Then we have Pokemon so we have Pokemon owners, we have Pokemon categories. It's always good to go through here and double check your models because sometimes you can get these things wrong. And if you get these data types wrong, oh my God, it is such a pain in the ass to go back and fix that shit. Holy crap. Oh my God. I can't tell you how many times I've like went through and missed like a type or I made something a string when it wasn't supposed to be or I named something wrong. And when we do the actual entity, when we do the actual entity, uh, entity framework, if like I said, be super uh, careful that you don't get those mixed up because if you screw up your database on the first one, you can fix it. It's just like a huge pain. So we've got Pokemon, we've got our joins, we've got review, we've got this is good right here. Then we have reviewer. So. That's our many-to-many -many relationship. The next one we're actually going to start working on is getting Entity Framework set up, which is going to be another big hurdle to, to not maybe worry about, but it's another thing that's just going to be a lot of boilerplate to set up before we can actually get to you know getting our API set up. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.